Father, we are gathered here today amongst friends and family to unite Matt and Mackenzie in a holy matrimony. And we thank you, Lord, that we're confident that the cloud of witnesses is looking on from heaven and they're just as excited as we are. We pray that today's ceremony would be, bring honor to you, that it's something that we would remember for years and years that we were uh, a part of. And we pray your blessing on everything that happens in this room today and on the marriage that will be sealed today. In Jesus' name, amen. Since October of 2006, I've been discovering the person that you are. I've fallen in love with the way that you laugh, you smile, and the way that you wrinkle your nose. I, Mackenzie, take you, Matt, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. In sickness, I will nurse you back to health. In health, I will encourage you on your path. In sadness, I will help you to remember. In happiness, I will be there to make memories with you. In poverty, I will do all that I can to make our love rich. And in wealth, I will never let our love grow poor. From this day forward until death do us part. I've seen the way you love Jesus and the way that you love people. Your passion for Jesus and your love for kids have drawn me to you, knowing you would make an incredible mother. not as promises, but as privileges. I get to laugh with you, get to cry with you, care for you and share with you. I get to run with you and I get to walk with you, build with you and live with you. I love the way you challenge me, believe in me and encourage me. You walk by my side every day and I promise to walk by yours. I promise to encourage you, to laugh with you, and to comfort you. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard. I promise to support you and provide for our family. I promise to see the best in you. I promise to see your heart and not just your actions. I promise to seek Jesus on how to be a husband, a leader, and a father. I promise to share with you what God is showing me. I promise to learn to be as good a listener as you are. I promise to laugh, love, and fight for us with all that I am, till death do us part, forever and always. I'm yours. Matt, for every story that I tell with my life, I want to tell it with you. For every good memory we make, I want to celebrate it with you. The world may toss us around, but I commit to stand by you, push you towards your dreams, defend you in public, love you without any reservations, and respect you even when no one is looking. And lastly, I promise to be your best friend with benefits. <laughs> much as you, Matt, and you, Mackenzie, have thus consented in holy matrimony and have witnessed the same before God and these friends by the authority vested in me as a minister of the Word of God and the laws of the state, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.
have known Matt McKenzie since we were 15, but have recently gotten very close in the past two years. The past 10 months, I've had the honor and privilege of living with Mackenzie. Um, and since I've lived with her, I thought that I could give Matt some tips on how to be <laughs> a great roommate. Don't talk to Mackenzie in the morning. She's not rude, she just doesn't want to hear your voice. <laughs> and every three or so months, she gets this really in this really weird mood where she just wants to try on all your clothes. So I hope these tips make this life transition a little bit easier for you, Matt. But Mackenzie, I've loved living with you in this past year. You've been understanding and patient and compassionate. And you've become one of my very best friends, and I cannot wait to be a part of this next season of your life. Matt, you've also become one of my very best friends. Your love for others is prevalent in all of your actions. The way you love Christ is displayed in the way that you love Mackenzie. And I could not be happier for you two to grow closer to Christ together. And thank you the honor. It's been such an honor to be here on your day. Matt McKenzie, we want to bless you. We want to honor you. As your friends and your family, we want to tell you we love you. We believe in you. We hope for you. We know great things are in store for you. We love you. I met Matt when I was in the seventh grade, and he was a sophomore at Gaither High School. At this time in my life, I was in a wolf pack of one. But Matt joined my wolf pack, and we created a wolf pack of two. <laughs> so we started hanging out all the time. When he was allowed to drive, he'd pick me up from school. A high school kid hanging out with a middle school kid. Some people looked at it weird. We thought it was cool. At least I did. Today marks a special day for them too. Obviously, they get to live the rest of their lives together and be happy, but it also marks a special day for me because today's the day that Mackenzie gets to join our wolf pack. <laughs> Congratulations, Mackenzie. <laughs> so, to a great marriage. Thank you. Thank you. 